Hey everybody, welcome to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and welcome to the PreSonus Studio One Beginner's Guide. These series of videos are intended to help the absolute beginner whether you're coming from another DAW or whether you've never used any DAW before and you're just getting into using Studio One. These series of videos are gonna help you get up and running as quick and easily as possible with no fuss and no muss to help you navigate your way through Studio One, set up a basic song file and give you a basic overview of all the more common features used in Studio One, both for recording music and for mixing music. Once you've watched this entire series here on YouTube and you want to take your mixing or your recording to the next level, I highly recommend that you check out these three training courses on my website at homerecordingmadeeasy.com. You want to check out Recording in Studio One Artist Made Easy, Mixing in Studio One Made Easy Volume One, and Mixing in Studio One Made Easy Volume Two. Those three courses are designed to help you go from what you're going to learn in these free set of videos and actually help you start making music and mixing music in your home studio. The links will be in the description box below, and there's also a 25% discount coupon that you can use at checkout to get 25% off any one of the courses I just mentioned. So thanks for joining me in this series, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, everybody, welcome uh, to the first video in this beginner guide series. This is the uh, start page. I'm gonna walk you through uh, the start page. When you first launch Studio One, this is the page you're gonna see, regardless of what version you're using, version two, all the way through version 4.5, you're gonna be looking at this screen here, um, and I'm gonna show you what you have on the screen in front of you. It's pretty easy to do, and we'll walk you through it and show you what we, what we have. So if we start at the very top here, um, you'll see, and I did this on purpose, you'll see that there is a new version of Studio One available here. So whenever you launch Studio One, if there is a new version that's been updated, um, whether it's just a minor fixing a couple of bugs or whether it's a major new release, it's going to show you right here at the top. You'll see this little green button you can update now and you can also view the release notes of what has changed between the version that you're running and the version that they're asking you to update to. We'll do that in a second, okay? So you'll always see that here when you have to update Studio One. Um, you will also can also do that by clicking at the bottom here where it says check for updates. It'll scan your system, see what up uh, what version you're running and then tell you whether there's another version or not and we can do that right now you'll see that there's a new it'll tell me what version I have installed in this particular example I have 4.14 and the new current version is 4.50 so you can just click update now and we'll cancel this for a second and that's the same as clicking this green button so that's important to make sure you always have the latest and greatest version of studio one um, if it's a paid upgrade it'll tell you but more times than not these upgrades are free so you should always try to run the latest version. Underneath that we have Studio One and then we have the, um, the, 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 the version that we're running here. I'm running Professional. You might be running Artist or you might be running the Prime version of Studio One. Regardless, this screen will look the same and there's only a couple of slight differences and I'll show you that when we get to it. Okay, and then underneath that we have um, three tabs here or three links. Okay, now in the Professional version you're, you're gonna see Create a New Song. Um, and you're gonna see opening an existing document. If you're running the prime version or the artist version, you won't see create a new project. Create a new project is the mastering suite that comes with only Studio One Professional. So if you're not running professional, you won't see this third icon here. Don't worry about that. We can talk about that in a later video. But this is where you're gonna create your new song file, which I'll show you <clears throat> in a couple of videos down the road here or where you open up an existing song file. Again, we'll talk about that afterwards. Um, so that's what happens at the top here. Um, on the left-hand side, we have all of our recent files or recent sessions that we were using. Um, if this is the first time you're launching Studio One, this list will be blank. But as you start using Studio One and you start creating session files and using Studio One, you will see your most recent files here. And when's the last time they were worked on? This is a real nice shortcut to be able to open up an existing file without having to navigate different folders in your computer. Okay, so that's under recent files. Files. If you go under songs here, again, if you have the professional version, you created um, something here, you'll see that here as well. We don't have anything here right now. And or projects, again, projects is the mastering session or the mastering suite. Again, if you have professional and you've created a project, you'll see that listed here. If not, don't worry about it. Just to let you know, there are three tabs here. I mostly look in the recent files.
files tab, because that's going to give you a combination of the songs, the projects, all under recent files. But if you wanted to see them specifically, you can always click on these other two tabs, okay? In the middle here, we have our artist profile. Right now, my thing is blank here where you can add a picture or an icon or artwork of some kind for your to customize your version of the start page. And you do that just by clicking this little thing here and you can go out to your desktop and you can find the picture that you want to put there. Um, you can also add your name and if you uh, click on this here, you could uh, change the name, you could put the genre of music and you can even add your website here as well if you want to. Underneath that we have our SoundCloud uh, area here where Studio One is linked up to SoundCloud. So if you have a paid or a free version of SoundCloud, you can publish your songs from Studio One once they're finished right to SoundCloud. And I'll show you that later on, later in this series. But you can connect your SoundCloud account just by doing this and you could go out to, it'll go out to SoundCloud's website and you can log into your sound, SoundCloud account and it will link it up to the start page in Studio One. We're not going to do that now, but just know that that's how you do it. And that's a real handy feature if you like to uh, mix out your music and get it up to your SoundCloud account for people to hear. You could do it right from the start page, which is really cool. Underneath that, we have our um, setup of our audio uh, interface um, down here. So you'll see setup and it'll show an icon usually of the audio interface you're using. I happen to be using an audio box i2 by PreSonus, um, but you can click in this little box here. And if you have, um, it'll bring up a preferences window, which we will look at in a couple of videos down the road here. So don't worry about that right now. It'll also show you uh, what it is, what your, um, what uh, sample rate you're using or what it's defaulted to and the sample size. Again, we will talk about that in a future video. If you click configure audio device, once again, it's gonna bring up this preferences window. We're gonna do a separate video on the preferences window and I'm gonna walk you all through that. So don't worry about that for now, but it's a shortcut to getting there. And then you can also configure an external device. Again, it's gonna open up the preferences window and we will talk about that at uh, another video here, but those are quick shortcuts to get you to the preferences window and to configure your audio device. We will do that in another video, but that's what happens here, okay? And then once again, you can always check for updates by clicking this link. You can click on About Studio One. It tells you a little bit about Studio One, what version you happen to be running, um, if you're running a Mac or a PC, um, when it, this particular version was built, and then some of the other stuff here, your product key and things like that will be there as well, okay? So that's what goes on in the center part of the start page. On the right side of the start, start page here, we have some really cool things here. So now if you're connected to the internet, you're gonna have your news feed, which is gonna have all the uh, latest and greatest information coming out from PreSonus to keep you up to date with Studio One and PreSonus in general and all their products. Here you can see uh, they have some videos here talking about version 4.5, which I have not updated to yet. We'll do that at the end of this video. And there'll be uh, some, some tips here. There'll be a free, some, some Studio One tutorials and you can scroll down here and this is constantly updating and I recommend that you kind of read through the news feed when you launch Studio One just so you can see what's kind of going on and these are all linked so again you can always click on the links if these are linked and it'll take you out to the website uh, that these things pertain to. Next to that, we have our demos and tutorials. Again, if you've downloaded any of the demos or tutorials from your user account out on presonus.com, when you install Studio One um, and you get it, you go out to the website and register uh, your uh, either your interface or register your uh, Studio One software, in your PreSonus account, there'll be an area for downloads for uh, the demos and tutorials. And when you download those to your computer, they're gonna show up right here in the demos and tutorials area of the news uh, of the start page. So you have them, again, quick, easy access. You don't need to navigate through the rest of your computer just to find those files. They will show up here, okay? And then down below, you have all the social media areas for PreSonus. They're Facebook, Google, YouTube channels, and so on and so forth. So the way we go ahead now and just update Studio One. Oh, before we get to that, let's talk about what happens over here uh, in the top left-hand corner of here. We have our SoundCloud shortcut here where we could go ahead um, and we can click on this. And once again, it'll show you what is on your SoundCloud account, what songs you've uploaded to your SoundCloud account, if you have in fact connected with SoundCloud, which we have not done. But once you do that, you could just click this little cloud up here and it'll bring up all the music that you have there. You can add tracks, you can remove tracks. Again, a nice, quick, easy little app to work and manage your SoundCloud account right from Studio One start page. Uh, over on the top right-hand side, we have three buttons here. We have our start button, which is the start page that you see right here uh, in front of you. 
We have our song uh, file page, which right now we don't have any songs created. Again, we will do that for in a later video, but by clicking on this button, if you don't have a song file opened or a session opened, it'll ask you to create a new song file. Again, we're gonna walk through this in a later video. And then we have a project button, same thing. If you had a project opened, it will automatically jump to that, to that open session. Uh, but if you don't, it'll ask you to create a new project. Again, this is specifically for the professional version. This is the mastering suite. Again, we'll talk about that in a later video here. So now that we've walked through the start page, again, one easy way to just click to update your version to the latest version is click update now. And it's gonna go ahead and you're gonna see a little dialogue box and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna go and do all the updates and it's gonna ask you to install it onto your system and you'll just follow the prompts and you'll go ahead and you will, um, you will install um, Studio One, the latest version of Studio One, and then it's gonna reboot. You can see here, uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'm just gonna drag it into my folder. Again, the Windows uh, PC version is gonna be exactly the same kind of steps. It looks a little bit differently, but if you're on a PC, you don't need to worry about that. And then if I just double click this icon, it'll walk me through a series of uh, prompts, and there we go, we're gonna install it now. And here you go, scanning all of my plugins. Pretty standard on how you would install any program, but I'll just let it finish up so you can see. And now if we were to look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that we have now version 4.5, which is the latest version. And if I check, uh, check for updates, if I click that, you'll see I am all up to date. Okay, so that is um, a look at the start page and how you update to make sure you have the latest version of Studio One running on your system. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them below in the comments box, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much and take care.